Hello everyone, myself Deeksha from Biotechnica and today we are going to discuss about one of the most important topics regarding the students who want to pursue their interest in cancer biology. So they have a question from where they can do short term training as well as internship program. So today I shall be discussing some top institutions which are really good for you to pursue your internship as well as short term training programs or long term training programs in the field of cancer biology. So I will be enlisting top uh, eight institutions which you can go and search on the website also and here I will be giving you some glance about the uh, research areas that they are providing as well as the selection procedure too. So since we are talking about the cancer biology we are very specific about the research area that we are going to do so I will be enlisting only the institutions which are really good in the field of cancer biology and which have really uh, world class facilities in the field of uh, cancer biology and the labs concerned. So before starting that I want to tell you about Biotechnica that Biotechnica is world's largest platform of bioscientists and we are always here to help you regarding the opportunities, post newsletters, career advices, as well as course curriculum, especially regarding CSI and NetGate and NEET. So you can go our and visit our website and you can also subscribe our YouTube channel. So getting back to the topic, we shall be discussing about top institutions for pursuing internship in the field of cancer biology. The first one that we are going to discuss is ACTRAC Mumbai. So it stands for Advanced Center for Treatment, Research and Education in Cancer. It's located in Navi Mumbai and it has a world class facility it's related to uh, cancer research it is also known as Tata Memorial Center so it is located in Navi Mumbai the website is um, httpactrack.gov.in life sciences you can go and visit the departments as well as the internship program so the eligibility for the internship or short-term training you should be having an ongoing BSc or MSc degree it means that you can't be in a final year and you can now you cannot approach if you are in ongoing in BSc and MSc degree then only you can you are eligible to apply the training program is usually summer training or six month training so it's like that if you want to go and have a technical exposure you can go for a summer training for uh, two months or one uh, one month or two months or also you can go for six month training if you want to complete your dissertation or project work of bachelors as well as masters from Actrack Mumbai. The session intake is usually in the month of June July which is the mid year and then the selection pro procedure is to you have to email the concerned PI where you want to work in whose lab you want to work you have to email the concerned PI and if he is willing to take you your toes are open. So the first one I'm talking about was ECTRA. The second institution is NCBS, National Center for Biological Sciences. Again, it is located in Bombay. Sorry, it's located in Bangalore. And then uh, the website is http www.ncbs.rdsin.in. The eligibility is you have to have a post-graduation degree. So NCBS has, NCBS is under, like it's a biological uh, branch of uh, TIFR only. So they are having a collaboration. So TIFR and NCBS work in hand in hand. And then they are having a, uh, like uh, the eligibility is post graduation degree you should have an integrated degree or a post graduation degree that is applicable you can go to the laboratory website and you can find so there are many departments that work in collaboration cell biology computational as well as cancer so you can go and search for those departments and you can look over the PI where you are interested in so you can find the, those programs the training program is mostly long term training program they want you to work for six months or one year so the training program would be uh, long term also but you can go and ask for any short term training program that is available in their lab but they prefer coming Commitment. The session intake depends upon the availability of the position and when you are applying. The selection procedure is again that you have to con uh, email the concerned PI or the lab where you want to work. So they have many departments, but uh, the, there is no, no as such separate cancer uh, like facility or something. But yeah, they have good uh, like uh, labs where they are actively working on cancer. So you can go and search for those labs. And if you are interested in those topics related to cancer, you can surely ask the PI so that they can take you. The next one is Indian Institute of Science. So Indian Institute of Science ISC is again in Bangalore. So it is located in Bangalore. The website is provided here. The eligibility here is post-graduation degree. Again, you can have an M like integrated uh, B.Tech or you can have an BSc degree, um, integrated BSc master's or a master's degree. The training program is again short-term training or summer training depends upon the availability and the um, like the website where they will be mentioning the vacancy. The session intake is very uh, variable and uh, some of the intake also happens through the INSA fellowship, but it depends upon the availability of the positions that are there but you can again email them to the concerned PI to have a look upon the laboratory facility as well as the research interest where you want to work. You can also visit the website if there is any vacancy of any internships required then they will again put it in the website and you can uh, go and ask for them. So these are the uh, this was about the Indian Institute of uh, Science. So mostly I'll tell about NCBS and ISC. The 
that you should always you are always encouraged to apply to the PI because mostly any project position, internship position, short term, long term, or any even JRF positions. If you want to go for any position, you should always be enthusiastic about talking to, to the PI and uh, showing them the interest that you are really interested in working uh, in their lab and you are in, really enthusiastic about the research work what they are doing. So uh, this keeps on motivating you also for the research, and they will also feel that you are really interested to join the lab. So they are all they always encourage also to uh, for the students to uh, send them an email which is a very nice method for NCBS and uh, ISC so you can go and visit the department uh, visit the laboratory individual uh, PI's laboratory and then you can find any uh, like uh, vacancy that is available and you can apply to the PI concerned PI sending your email uh, sorry cover letter or um, then your CV and the documents concerned then the fourth number that uh, comes is Center for Cellular Molecular Biology. It is located in Hyderabad. Its website here, it's, I have mentioned the website where you can directly go and find the training program. So it would be a bit easier for you because many times when we give the um, the sole uh, website of the institution itself, it makes uh, students difficult to go for and search for the training program. So I'm here mentioning it. You can take a screenshot of it and you can copy paste it as it is. And the eligibility is that you should have a MSc, BTech, Integrated MSc, MBBS or a B Pharma degree. Um, individual MTech uh, people like uh, degree is not allowed. Then training program, program is a summer training program. They have a session intake that is an annual intake and the selection procedure is applied through online application. You have, there would be an online application for Portal where you can apply through the documents and everything they are asking and then they will be shortlisting the students based on their academic performance and they will be enlisting those names on the website and then you can always have a LOR like a letter of recommendation from the HOD and it is mandatory so your uh, letter of recommendation is a deciding factor for the selection procedure in the internship of CCMB so they have mentioned it also in the website that LOR is really important so through the HOD also you can uh, you are very much encouraged to apply uh, with a uh, good LOR that you take from the head of department of your facility. The next uh, institution that we're going to talk about is National Institute of Immunology. So National Institute of Immunology is located in New Delhi and uh, the website is uh, the NNI is not in academic short term training. You can go there and find any short term training that you want to pursue. The eligibility is, is that you have can have a MSc, MVSc, MTech integrated masters, but you should be on the fourth year. You shouldn't be in the pre final year. You should be in the final year. Then the training program is six month training program it's a six month training program so basically they are encouraging the students who want to uh, complete their dissertation master's thesis or their project work in nia so you can go and in, you are encouraged to apply for those positions the session is they have to intake july to december and january to june so you can go and visit the website the selection procedure is visit the site and fill the form and you can also through the hod of department you can email or you can ask for an lor and then you can through the hod channel channel also you can apply but uh, again you can email the PI also but since they have a central channel then uh, you are encouraged to go through the uh, the central channel because they might not feel the way that you are not uh, applying through the website and you are uh, like disturbing the PI so it shouldn't be like that so you should politely you know, approach the PI and if they are saying that yeah, there is a central process for the recruitment for the internships like from the website or filling out the form then don't try to uh, like uh, disturb the PI just go through the central form only and then fill the form and then you can proceed with the PI that I'm interested in working in in your lab so never uh, try to get over smart while applying for these positions always follow the rules and regulations of the institution that has been provided okay so this was about the national institute of immunology now the next one we are trying to uh, like uh, catch uh, is uh, rajiv gandhi center for biotechnology so rajiv gandhi center for biotechnology is located in tiruvananthapuram kerala and it is one of the uh, like uh, india's most renowned institutions who is working in the field of cancer and disease biology so you are always welcome to uh, like uh, do your long term or short term internships in the field of disease biology cancer translational basic research anything all the lab laboratory facilities are there available the website i mention it here the eligibility eligibility is msc btech mphil and mtech so you can have this degree you can go and apply for the positions the training program is short term and long term training program and the best part is it varies from one month to, to like 12 month so you are having a variability of uh, one month training program six month training program and even 12 month training program the section intake is again throughout the year so the next best part is throughout the year there is an application you can apply anytime and you can have to 
firstly and the most important thing that you have to encourage the potential mentor you have to inform the potential mentor and encourage them to take you in their lab and that is this whole method where you can enter into the lab so your mentor should agree that they want to take you into, the, into their lab so you should email the concerned PI where you want to work you should show their interest that you are working really hard to get into the lab and you want to work in the, those facilities because you are you find the research work really interesting so you should be really passionate about research and then you can always apply to the email or email to the concerned PI. So this is the method of selection. Now this we uh, discuss about Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology. The next one we are going to discuss is Center Research Institute CSIR CDRI. It's located. It is located in Lucknow, UP. So. The website I have mentioned is here. The eligibility is that you can have a MSc, BTech, MPhil, and MTech degree. The session would be throughout the year. You can have a like application, but uh, the the thing is that you can always uh, apply in the mid session, that is June July session, because most of the vacancies are present in the mid year session only. So because uh, students they complete their degree or they have a summer gap or they have a break, and that time only they prefer to do any internship short term training or as well as any training so you are encouraged to apply in that uh, that uh, session only so the se selection process is too so you can have these details in the website you can visit to cdri.res.in training scholarship awardees aspx so here you will be getting the detail of each and every like fellowship and their selection procedure their eligibility everything is mentioned there very detailed and very clearly so you can have this uh, the look over the website the training scholarship awardees you can have visit this website this website I've been mentioned. Now they take uh, students from I INSA Fellowship, that is Indian Academy of Sciences Summer Research Fellowship, Inspire Fellowship. Sorry, this is Inspire Fellowship, Inspire. Yeah. The UPCST Fellowship and then ASI Abdul Kalam uh, Summer Training Program. So you can have the details about these programs uh, on the website of the CDIRA.RDS.in Training and Scholarship Awareness. And these details are clearly mentioned and it's mentioned very neatly. You can have a check for your eligibility if you are eligible for applying and if you're eligible go and apply through the channel they will always they will be providing you with laboratory as well as classroom opportunities also through the scientists that are present there the coursework also so now about the cdri we have done the next one is all india institute of medical science delhi so um, aims is located in delhi and it's very renowned also the website i have mentioned here the eligibility is that you can have an mbbs bsc msc b pharma integrated so since it's a medical institution mostly the mbbs people will come for internship and training for that is a different training we are only talking about the students who have completed their bachelor's as well as master's and who want to go for a, a dissertation or want to go for a short-term training so again it depends on the availability of the seats and the pi who is willing to take you in the lab so always go through a channel and then the training program is short-term training only the session intake is annual and then the selection process uh, procedure is you can email the concerned pi in the center there are some centers also they actively recruit the uh, intern like interns and the trainers it's so trainees so you can always go through through the uh, visit the centers like genomic center or any center you can visit the center you can email the concerned PA but uh, mostly e emailing the concerned PA is not an encouraging option because they have uh, vacancies on the website also but still if you know somebody and if you are really enthusiastic to work in their lab you can always email them or email the even a PhD student if you want to ask something regarding the uh, like laboratory facility or there is any opportunity or, or not you can email any PhD or postdoc student who is working there so that at least they can give you an idea and then you can approach via the process where like what is being deployed so this is about the all India institute of medical sciences new delhi so i have been enlisting top eight institutions and these eight institutions that i have listed is abstract mumbai and cbs bangalore isc bangalore ccmb hyderabad nii delhi RGCB Trivandrum, CDRI Lucknow, Ames New Delhi. So this were about the institutions, top eight institutions where you can go and pursue your internships or as well as training programs in the field of cancer biology. If you're enthusiastic about cancer, they're having a very renowned world-class facility labs and you will always, always learn something from the PI, from the students, from the, like the uh, staffs who are working there. So always try to learn something from them, from anywhere you go, no matter your inquisitiveness towards learning new things is most important and that is the only thing that is a deciding factor where you where you go even in the field of research research if you want to continue so these are about the top eight institutions where you can go and have internships or summer training programs and i 
like i i was be i been through the selection procedure eligibility the website the location as well as the intake also so you can have a look upon these and you can visit the website also for what the details if you have any doubt anything please mention in the comment box below i'm there to help you and so thank you so much for this like watching this video i hope you have liked this video